Hello and welcome back to Greg's Game Room. Now, I was slightly shocked today to discover that the Raspberry Pi Foundation has announced the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, they just announced the Raspberry Pi 3A not too long ago and kind of hinted that, you know, this is going to be the last Pi that we do for a while. So when this got announced, I was shocked. <laughs> So, of course, the first thing that I did once I learned about it was I rushed right out and I, I purchased one. Of course, it's on back order, so I guess it's pretty popular. But I will definitely be doing a video on it as soon as I get it in. There's a couple of tests that I want to do between the 3B Plus and the 4. See if it's a little bit faster, see if it behaves differently, see if Nintendo 64 games work better on the 4 than on the 3B Plus. And a couple of other little things I want to see if the 4 can do that the 3 might have a little bit of trouble doing. So for this video, I just kind of want to show you guys the differences between the 4 and the 3B Plus and some of the pricing that uh, looks like it's going to be out there for the 4. But before we get started with that, please remember to hit the like, share, subscribe button before you click off of this video. That would really help me a lot. All right, so let's get started. Here it is, the Raspberry Pi website. It's raspberrypi.org, and you can see they're already showing the new fancy graphics and everything completely upgraded re-engineered faster more powerful a choice of memory sizes 1 gig 2 gig or 4 gig gigabit ethernet usb 2.0 and usb 3.0 ports two micro hdmi ports which is fantastic and they're 4k as well so that's going to uh, make your image much more beautiful on the screen and a USB-C power connector, which is slightly different than the current USB... What's the one on the current one? I'll put the type down below here because I can never remember. What's cool is that they said the headers here are exactly the same, which tells me that a lot of the other aspects of this Raspberry Pi 4 is similar to the Raspberry Pi 3. So hopefully it's going to be easy to go from one to the other without a whole lot of changes. This really excites me to think that you could do dual screens with the Raspberry Pi. Now, I don't have one of these capture card thingies yet, but the way I understand it, there's a certain amount of lag with some of these. And I imagine if you were to have two screens, you could plug one connector into the monitor, the other into your recorder, and there wouldn't be any lag because you're, you're playing it directly on the screen and not through the recorder. So that sounds like it'd be very appealing. All right, so here's an image that I genned up that will compare the Raspberry Pi 4 with the 3B Plus. Now, as you can see, the Raspberry Pi 4 has a Broadcom BCM2711 quad-core Cortex processor. The only thing I really care about is right here where it says it's 1.5 gigahertz compared to the Raspberry Pi 3, which says it's 1.4 gigahertz. Now, on the 4, you can get memory configurations in one, two, or four gigs, whereas on the three, you can only get it in the one gig configuration. It looks like the wireless speed is about the same, but I see that the four has Bluetooth 5.0, whereas the 3B Plus has 4.2. Both have gigabit ethernet, that's great. Of course, the Raspberry Pi 4 has two USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports, whereas the 3B Plus has four USB 2.0 ports. Now, 3.0 is quite a bit faster than the 2.0 ports. And it says it has two micro HDMI ports. Now, that's a little bit different than a regular HDMI port, so you're going to have to get some kind of an adapter to go from the Raspberry Pi 4 to your television set or what other monitor that you're going to hook it up to. Of course, those video ports are 4K in case you're interested in having ultra high def. I don't even know what the 4K stuff is. I'm more, you know, the 640 by 480 stuff, so I don't even care about the 4K. <laughs> So overall, I mean, the 3 and the 4, they seem kind of similar. The 4 has a little bit of more horsepower to it, more memory, slightly faster processor, some different USB ports, dual monitors. I feel like that's probably one of the big selling points and, you know, a different kind of power connector, which in a way, the USB-C power connector might be a bit of a negative because I don't know if that's all that prevalent. Can you get those in, in your neighborhood box stores? Uh, I actually haven't really even looked for it. All right, so where can you get a Raspberry Pi 4, you might ask? Well, I checked Amazon, and it's not there yet. So I found that on their website, they're pointing to four different websites that have the Pi for sale. And it looks like they're all pretty much the same price for the base 1 gig unit. They're all $35. 
There's one here on Newark.com. There's one here on Connecticut.com. There's one here on ChicagoDist.com. And there's another one here on PieShop.us. Again, it looks like they're all going for $35, which again, that's the base unit. If you want more than that, which you're gonna need if you have a Raspberry Pi 3, you're gonna need that, uh, that small HDMI connector and the power adapter, so. Let's see what some of the other pricing configurations are. Okay, so starting on Newark.com, uh, I was kind of looking at them earlier, and I don't really see any Raspberry Pi 4 kits, per se. Um, and their website is very just kind of like, here's all the stuff, figure out what you want. Um, I'm kind of looking for like a kit that just has all the stuff in it that I already want which is kind of exactly what Canna Kit over here has. They have a one gig basic kit for $50, which is $15 more than the just the Pi board by itself, which I guess it's because you're getting the heat sinks and the power adapter. So I don't know if that's worth $15, maybe. Then they've got this starter kit, the one gig being $80, but it comes with a 32 gig card, comes with the micro HDMI connector, comes with a case, power adapter, manual, the heat sinks, then they have a complete starter kit where the one gig unit is 100 bucks. But I really like this case here. Look at this. That's the official Raspberry Pi 4 case. And I don't know, it's pretty nice looking. I like it. Ooh, this even comes with a keyboard and a mouse. That's pretty cool. The Raspberry Pi Foundation has their own keyboard and mouse, which kind of matches the whole kit. All right, then over at the Chicago Dist website, I feel like I'm being dist. They've got uh, a lot of these items in uh, separate components as well. Now there's that official case again, sold out. The micro HDMI to standard HDMI connector for $5. Power supply, power supply, $8, the unit itself. So if you wanted, you could go to chicagodisc.com and get your own pieces, parts, and throw them all together. And lastly, we have pieshop.us. They have a couple of kits there. One being the starter kit and the budget kit. It looks like it has the power adapter and the heat sinks and a case. And then you've got the starter kit that has the, the Pi itself, the HDMI connector, the case, power adapter, and a 16 gig card for uh, $64. And I think the two gig set for $75. Now I notice here on pieshop.us it says, this product is available for pre-order, so I don't know if that means they haven't got theirs in just yet, or if they haven't updated their website, or what the story is, but hopefully I'll have this Raspberry Pi 4 in a short amount of time, and I don't have to wait too long because I'm really, really excited about it. So there you have it. There's the news about the new Raspberry Pi 4, some of the specs, the pricing, where you can get it from. I don't know. I, I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to see what else I can do with it. So how about you? Are you excited about the Raspberry Pi 4 like I am? If so, please leave a comment down below. I'd really be interested in having a discussion with you about this new system that I, again, I'm so super excited about. If you liked the video, if you got something out of it, please remember to hit the like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff down below. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. All right. Hope this thing is easy to work with. It probably is.